record, you can produce the record, you can record the record, you can go out on the road and you can perform the record, but you get paid the least for the record. Because the record company will, you know, is it's it's just it's it's the setup. And I think the only way that it can change is if you change the setup. There's no way that you're gonna sign a record deal with a major record company and it be any different. They can tell you all they want, you know, and you do have artists that make money in the music industry, but a lot of times those artists are the artists that sell an enormous amount of records and the record company has to force to pay them. You know, the, the simplest way that I explain how the record company or the music business is laid out is if someone gives you 10, say you, you sell a CD for $10 and I tell you out of the $10 I'm going to pay you $1 and it costs say 50000 or no, let's say $500,000 to record your record. So now I already gave you $500,000. And it costs, say, $200,000 for promotion. So now we're at $700,000. And say it costs another $200,000 for video and marketing and all the rest of that. So now we're at $900,000. And your record comes out and it's a huge hit. And you sell a million records. Now, off of these million records, I'm supposed to pay you a million dollars. But you owe me 900000 You owe me 900000 Now, the time that I'm supposed to pay you is like six months afterwards. So we go six months, and the first statement that comes in only counts 500,000 records. So, okay, I owe you 500, you owe me 900. So now you owe me four hundred. So while you're sitting there with your radio, you know your record on MTV and getting all your exposure and waiting for this check, you get a a bill that is a negative sign and four hundred thousand dollars. And you're kind of like, wait a minute, all of my friends are like, you're about to buy a new car and get a new house, and you get a statement. You don't get a check. You get a statement, and the statement says negative four hundred thousand. So the next check or statement comes six months later. So now, a year's gone by and your record is played out and it's time for you to go into the studio and do another one. So what they do is give you another $500,000. <laughs> so now you're $900,000 in the hole again. And when your statement comes out that they owe you the four, now you're still $500,000 in the hole. So if this keeps going on and on and on, you never make any money. So what happens when you put out the record and the record doesn't sell? So they just add it on to your bill. The, a lot of the record deals that are done are bank loans at enormous interest rates that you cannot pay back. You know, that's why you get so many artists that go out and they tour, or they look for alternative means. They try to sell merchandise, or they try to do other things. If you ever looked and wondered why so many of the rap artists have clothing lines, Everybody is trying to find alternative means because they're not really making the money from the records. You become a business on your own to try to figure out. And this is and then also you have to understand the psychological factor. Now you're successful. You're successful in the eyes of all of your peers. And you have to get up every morning and look in the mirror and realize that the success that everyone is telling you and the success that everyone is looking at you that you have that something's not matching. And then it becomes an internal problem with yourself because it's like, it doesn't make any sense. You know, I sold a million records, I'm on MTV. You know, I just won an award. You know, I remember telling the story that Will and I, you know, I, we won a Grammy Award and I went on stage. It was, the Grammy Awards is supposed to be the most prestigious award that you can ever win in music. And I won a Grammy Award, I went on stage, I accepted it made my speech, Will couldn't be there, I went backstage, I did the press, they took pictures, congratulations, you guys had the, the single of the year, and I walked and got in the car and cried because I had $500 in my bank account. And I'm sitting there like, how can I win the biggest award that you can win in music, and I have $500 in your bank account? It doesn't match. It, do it doesn't make sense. You know, and it's just the setup 
of a way that a lot. Now that's not to say don't get into this. That's not to say that it can't work. But you, you know, what I what I do a lot of times in talking to people is I tell the truth because a lot of times people don't tell the truth. The only thing that you see is the glitz and the glamour side. You see, you know, that you can be famous and you can see. That's why I tell a lot of people understand. And if you get into this. Ask yourself, what are you getting into this for? Are you getting into it because you love it? Are you getting into it because you want to be famous? Are you getting into it because you want to be rich? Now, any one of those reasons are fine, but just as long as you know and you understand why you're getting into it. Because there's a lot of times that people get mad. There's a lot of bitter people in the music industry, and they, they, they have no one to blame but themselves because no one ever investigated the reason and why. No one... You know, no one ever looked at it like, well, this is going to be my meal ticket. You know, it's it's very different today because 99% of the people that got into it when I got into it, got into it for love. It's amazing because there are people that get into the music industry today for money. You know, and I, I, I worked a job. I shoveled in the snow. I did whatever I could do to make money to buy me two turntables to do a party for free. Not to make money. I just, if you want me to do your party, I'll do it for free. I spent money to do your party for it to come back to me the way that it did. And now there are people that just look at it like, okay, how can we get some money? Hey, I got an idea. Let's start a record company. And you can rap and, and I'll be the manager. You know, and it's kind of like, that's not how I got into it. And it's just, you have to really do your research and study you know, on the business side of it, because if you don't watch it, you can really get taken for a ride. That's deep, man. That's, thank you for that. And if you ever 